Hey, everyone in the world remembers where they were November the 22nd, 1963, if they were alive. They remember. Where were you Except November the 22nd? Except unless you were two or three years old, you wouldn't remember. No, I'm, but I'm older you, than If that. you were 12, if you were t nine. I was eight. Nine or above. I remember it very well. Okay, every where better. was I? Okay, yeah. in Dallas, I grew up in Dallas. So in Dallas on that day, even though Texas really said they weren't for JFK, they were. So they let, if you had a note from your parents, you were out of school. Hmm. So, and I had what they called a hardship driver's license. So I had a 1958 Buick Special. I was only supposed to drive back and forth to school. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> my, my friend Billy Slocum and I, can't, I, Jimmy McCorder, I just remembered his name. Good Lord, that's good. <laughs> So, because of you. So, it was Jimmy McWhorter, Billy Slocum, and myself in the car to go to Love Field to see JFK. We got to Love Field. We parked. There were so many people. And Jimmy McWhorter's father worked at the airport. And so, Jimmy says, my dad said he's going out this gate. We, yeah. He goes, yeah, I think he knows. So, we drove to that gate. Yeah. Jack, no, no. This is Ed Hogan of WFAA Television in Dallas, Texas. We are standing on the grounds of Parkland Hospital where President Kennedy was brought just uh, a few hours ago and has died, as most of you have already, uh, already know. We want to uh, possibly talk to some of the people here who are standing. What is your name, please? Uh, Mrs. Quincy Adams. Mrs. Quincy, are you from Dallas, Mrs. Yes. How does this affect you? Uh, well, it's just a complete shock, and I think it's just it means that doom for our country. Well, it's uh, it's a terrible thing, and it's shaken up and uh, shocked everybody. Well, it, it has, and I think Dallas will never get over this. Thank you very much. Uh, may I speak with uh, you, please? Uh, I'm Ed Hogan of WFAA TV. If you turn around on this, what is your name, please? Uh, Mrs. Schofield. And Mrs. Schofield, uh, how do you feel on this? I'm pretty terrible about it. We're from Loveland, Colorado. We're just down here for today. Just got down. Oh, you are. I have a daughter right. bad sick. Here. It's all broke up over a, a hit and run accident the other day. Well, I'm off. Hospital. Hospital. That's what we're trying to get in now yeah. to see her. Well, I'm off. Well, I just sorry. feel terrible about this. I just think it's one of the most terrible things that's ever happened. It certainly is that, and thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, may I ask your name, please? I Lanny see you. Kimsey. I see you're wearing a banner, uh, Lanny. Colts, I wonder if you have a football game tonight. Yes, sir. I would imagine. What school do you go to? Uh, Cary. To Cary School Edward here Carey. in Dallas? Yes, sir. How do you feel? What is your reaction to this terrible thing that has happened to our president? Well, I just can't see why anybody would want to uh, shoot Mr. Kennedy for all the things he's done for us and tried to keep us from getting into war and everything. I see. And who is this with you here? Uh, Don, Don Myers. What's your name? Don Myers. And Don, how, how do you feel on this terrible I day? I just think it's just a shame, because, I mean, I don't know why anybody would want to kill him. Thank you very much for speaking with us. We might get over here. What is your name, please? Gary Vertz. Gary Vertz. Uh-huh. And Gary, are you from Dallas? Yes, I am. How do you feel? What is your reaction to this terrible thing that has happened? Well, it's a bad thing that's happened. I think it shouldn't have happened here, really, because it's going to give this place a real bad name. Thank you very much. I believe uh, right now this is about all the people that we have here. 
within the proximity of our length of cord on the microphone, but we will repeat. They we're standing on the grounds of uh, Parkland Memorial Hospital in Dallas, Texas, where just a few hours ago, the President of the United States was brought, his body was brought here after an assassin. Hey, everyone in the world remembers where they were November the 22nd, 1963, if they were alive. They remember. Where were you Except November the 22nd? Except were two or three years old, you wouldn't remember. No, I, I was older you, than if that. if you were 12, if you were t nine, I was nine eight. or above. I remember it very well. Okay, every where was I? Okay, yeah. in Dallas, I grew up in Dallas. So in Dallas on that day, even though Texas really said they weren't for JFK, they were. So they let, if you had a note from your parents, you were out of school. Hmm. So, and I had what they called a hardship driver's license. So I had a 1958 Buick Special. I was only supposed to drive back and forth to school. Yeah, that happened. So anyway, um, my, my friend Billy Slocum and I, can't, I Jimmy McWhorter, I just remembered his name. Good boy, that's good. So because of you. So it was Jimmy McWhorter, Billy Slocum, and myself in the car to go to Love Field to see JFK. We got to Love Field. We parked. There were so many people. And Jimmy McWhorter's father worked at the airport. And so Jimmy says, my dad said he's going out this gate. We, yeah, he goes, yeah, I think he knows. So we drove to that gate yeah. and parked. And there was two policemen, or I don't know, but there's a policeman standing next to us. And Billy, I'm, I'm the quiet one. Billy goes, says to him, what would, you, what would you do if I told you I had a gun in my pocket? <laughs> Nothing as long as I didn't see it. So, okay. So now JFK did come through that gate. And they opened the gates, but he stopped because people were there, not yeah. very many. But my friend Billy went out and shook his hand. Wow. Uh, Mind-boggling. So we had friends. Well, they had friends. I was just driving. They, they had friends because they, they had money. So they put money into a show for the Kingsman who did Louie Louie yeah. oh, at, yeah. at Market Hall. Hmm. One of those. So... They knew the backstage guys. And so we were going to Market Hall to kind of watch his speech. But before that, we decided to go to Mickey Mantle's bowling alley. Mickey Mantle's from Dallas. So, so anyway, we got to Mickey Mantle's. The entrance was no longer the entrance. There's a woman at a switchboard. And we're standing there, and we're trying to figure out. And she goes, the president's been shot. And we looked at her and went, come on. And she goes, no, my friend went over, I don't know which one, I think it was Jimmy, went over and listened and goes, it is, it's true. So we're running through the parking lot going, the president's been shot, and they're screaming at you kids, stop that. And, and so we get in the car, where are they going to take him? Parking lot. We used to go there to watch uh, people with gunshots come in. That was after dates. So anyway, <laughs> I know, weird. I grew up in Texas, what do you want to know? <laughs> so I, come on, my name's me. I got a cousin named Pudgy. <laughs> <laughs> so we get in the car and one of them go one of them says they're going to take him to Parkland I go okay let's go to Parkland so it wasn't very far away it yeah. may have been a mile and a half truly a mile and a half from, from where we were because Mickey Mantle then Parkland then the uh, arena or whatever it was Market Hall and so we're driving down a, a road called Stemmons Freeway it's still there and there's a guy in the middle of the road. And I'm going, what's this guy doing out there? I, I'm not saying it, I'm thinking it. And I move, change lanes, only three lanes. So I change lane, he jumps over. Now, of course, going slower and slower. And so I go back to the center. He change, I go over here, he jumps. And eventually, I go, okay. So he stops and he slams a badge. And... I've talked to Billy about this in the last three years. Mm. And both of us will swear that he said, secret service, secret service, move over. And he wanted my car. So I screwed over. I'm petrified. And he's driving. Now we're going fast. We're driving speeding. And there's already uh, sharpshooters on the ground in the front of Parkland Hospital, and they're on the roof. 
and I can see, you know, you see these things. And we drive in, and he goes, you kids don't move. And I'm scooted over to Billy like this. And so I sit there, like, next to Billy like this. Didn't move. <laughs> and so we sit there for a while, and, and Bill was the, he was best-looking captain of the football team, dated the prom queen, you know, did the whole thing. I mean, he was the whole, the whole caboodle, Bill Slocum was. Race, I won't get into it. Bull riding, motorcycles, you name it. So anyway, I eventually moved over, and one of them said, let's get out. So we did. Now today, that limousine would have been surrounded, but the limousine was just parked over there. And we went over, there's roses, there's blood, there's, oh man, it was, it was, but it was beautiful, but morbid at the same time. Mm. And so then we went back and they're talking to some guy, you know, and so then the guy, we go, let's go get in the car. So the the secret service guy comes back and goes, I'm going to give you a hundred dollars. said, oh no, we can't take that. He goes, well, he says, I'll take five. I'll give you five. My friends go, yeah, take five. So we tore the five into three pieces. You and still have that? Yeah, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> I'm sure I, it is. It is. Trust me. <laughs> Billy still has his. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't know where the other person is. Yeah. Billy still has his, and it's framed like mine was. Wow. And so, it, unbelievable. And so, we, here's the kicker. We go to school and we're late for football practice, but they're not having it. And they go, where are you guys? Where were you guys? We go, we were at Parkland. Yeah, right. Stop lying. Tell me where you really were. We were at Parkland. All right. Sit down. You're running laps tomorrow. So they let us go. I go home. I tell my mother we were at Parkland. My mother, my mother, uh, my grandfather was a minister. My mother was a real Christian. I, Sunday school. Morning, night, Wednesday, Sunday school, mm-hmm. vacation Bible school, the whole shooting match, mm-hmm. okay? 99, when I went to college, I went to Lubbock Christian, and now that I saw somebody in Lubbock Christian, they go, you're immortal there. I'm going, why? <laughs> but I did score 99 on my Old Testament and 97 on New Testament. So I was in the top five Old Testament scores. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. I think I'll uh, find that test and we'll give it to you again, see if you uh, still I, remember I probably, all that. No, I was reading the Bible and they going, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> so anyway, but that, so they didn't believe us. So let me, I told my mother, she didn't say anything. So that night, they were showing footage in Dallas of Parkland Hospital, and all of a sudden, there we were. We were on TV. After your mother said, there's no way that you were there. Yeah. Yeah. It, no, well, she didn't. She was polite. Yeah. The coaches were going, stop lying. Yeah. Sit down. And I won't tell you the rest of it. So all of a sudden, I'm going, look. And, and the announcer goes, and here's three teenagers talking to a senator from Illinois. And it was Billy talking to a senator from Illinois. Uh. And there we were on TV. And every once in a while when they do uh, a JFK, I'm there. You know, we all remember where we were. I doubt anybody has as vivid a memory as you do Not as a like high that. school kid. I don't know how many people got pulled over by the Secret Service and driven into Parkland. Well, it's never happened to Keith, Trey, or me. I can attest I, to that. I don't think it's happened to anybody else. I mean, it's an amazing story. And when I tell people, because I've, I've said to people, you'll never believe where Meatloaf was on the day of the Kennedy assassination. And, and when I tell what I knew about your story, People just say, no way, man, no yeah, way. No way. You were like Forrest Gump, you were there. 